Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. The Art of War. Welcome back. And I've got another episode of my From Zero to Anti-Hero video series where we grind it out in Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. In this episode, we are going to be covering effective... Um, effectively using your hero. So, there's tons of different ways to use your hero. Let's go over them. Well, first and foremost, the best way to use your hero, in my opinion, is to keep him active attacking monsters. So, uh, as you can see, I have no more, no more march energy down there. A way, a trick that I've figured out that's probably, you've probably thought of this already too, but if you haven't, here it is. When your hero runs out of energy, check and see if you have enough Noctis points to jump him up to the next level. I do. It just happens to work out. And when he goes up a level, he gets all his energy back. So he starts fresh. So that's a little trick if you didn't know about it. All right, so I have a ton of skill points saved up. And this is one of the best things uh, about your hero is you can do all kinds of things with these skill points if you use them effectively. In my opinion, I'm aggressive in this game. I'm going to be taking down the little guy. To do that, I need to buff my troops. So I'll be focusing on the left side of this skill tree. I'm not interested in quarry production or mine production or farm production. I want hero attack. I want warrior attack buff. I want cavalry attack buff. I'm definitely going to want mage attack buff. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. So just like that, my army just got 5% stronger. Easily. Troop HP? That sounds good. Let's have some of that. Alright, so I used up just about all my points. Uh, so that right there, my troops are going to be a lot stronger. And I'm not worried about the right side here because I'm going to be getting my income from attacking people. So that brings me to the secondary use of your hero. Farming monsters, number one. Number two is to use him in attacks. So have him lead your army because he will buff your army if he's with your army. So, so now that we have our skills buff in our army, the next thing you're going to want to make sure is that you have him equipped. And put gems on, you can embed gems to each item too. So like for instance this item, I embedded three gems that's going to... Uh, uh, so in total, my troops will do 3% more damage, 1% mage, 1% cavalry, 1% trap, and they have 5 bonus armor, and 7% increase in march speed. So that's just, boom, if my army's with my hero, they have all that on top of the skill buffs. So, so awesome. Awesome. Uh, you can use your hero uh, if you send your hero out with an army to uh, gather resources, which I don't recommend doing, but if you're going to be away from your computer for a while, it might be worth it or your phone. So if you occupy, you can send your hero and he will boost your troops on that tile. So there's a couple little tricks. Um, I definitely recommend keeping your hero as active as you can. Every time you're on, have your hero doing something, whether it's attacking with an army or, or farming monsters. It's all good. 
that is the best way to use your hero. Buff them up, send them out, and there you go. Drone B out.